Hey YouTube, I am at the park again on a rainy day. It has been raining on and off since this morning. A little rain, in fact, one of my favorite times to explore nature. I just walk in the rain because not many people were around, but only birds. It's the most relaxing place I know in Nanjing. Rain is a great time to be in nature. I got my camera safe, covered a little bit with my clothes. It's all good. Can you see that body? I think that's magpie. Yellow bill magpie. They have black and white colored plumage overall. There are so many birds here. I've seen bush tits, fringes, herons, thrushes, sparrows, doves, magpies, and many different types of birds just hopping around the trees right next to me. Can you see one more magpie behind the trees? I didn't want to wet my camera first, then I thought I should film all these birds because it's it's gonna be a beautiful one with the rain. Almost no people, pretty green around me. It's worth the try. And who doesn't like walking in the rain and alone? Yeah, I'm one of those crazy people. Something over the rainy days, I think birds love it too. I have enough layers on, I'm in my rain gear and I'm wearing water resistant footwear so nothing can stop me now. Even in this frame, you see four birds, a dog, a blackboard, a small bushed and the magpie. I love coming here. I told you before, it's my meditation song. It took me only 10 minutes to walk here from Nanjing Western. Shuan was the best natural escape in the city downtown. When I was in Beijing and Shanghai, I felt like life in Nanjing is much slower and more relaxed than those places. Across the lake, that's a purple mountain. Here is the famous Nanjing city wall. Right now, I'm trying to capture a flock of bush kids, which I see on the other side of the walkway. I'll keep these natural sounds in this video, don't worry, I'm not gonna put any cheesy music like in my other videos. Here you see, these are the cherry blossom trees or the sakura trees. Most of these trees are Prunus sanesia and ambrosia or Saglaga sakura families. Here it's a sanctuary to more than 200 rare species of birds. I see so many birds perching and hopping between the bushes. Can you hear the rain? For me the rain is made for a more peaceful and quiet hike. This is more like an ASMR video and for bird lovers. I will shut up and let you listen to the music of these little fellas. Let's check out that cool sign over there. Be sure can tell us more about the place we are in. It will have the history of the place. Let me read it out loud a little bit. Hmm, Shan Wu, a bright part of Nanjing, founded to Hector Stout area. It talks about all five islands, Misty Willows, and other main attractions here.
the city wall and the tallest siphon tower in the clouds and more of the Nanjing skyline. There you see the Jiming Temple and on the left side the Olympic Sloko. We can access the Olympic Sloko from the wall. We will go there next. That's a logo from the Summer Youth Olympics in 2014, which was held here at, at the lake. I mean, some of the activities were here. It's so peaceful. I can hear the sounds of nature now much clearer as I walk. Birds chirping and insects clicking. We are stepping onto another island. I don't know its name. Uh, I can't. I can't wait to see everything it has to offer. Wow, we can see the Taurus Lars Flower Fairy statue from here. And there is another plant sculpture. Super cool. Three elephants and three boys or angels? I don't know. In this park so far I have seen dark green pines, emerald green cypresses, tender willows and light green bamboos, plenty of tree lined pathways. We find out where exactly is the biological garden and the lover's garden. This place is all about tons of flowers in spring. Coming back here in spring is in my bucket list. The combination of the lake, mountains, and the beautiful landscape. The scenery is charming. It's peaceful story today, discovering more quiet hidden gems and exploring the habitat here. We've come for more on another day. Here we are on another island, different landscape. Yeah, see, it's a different landscape. Got to be careful, these stones are slippery due to the rain. This park is tranquil. I hear only birds and breeze. Outside this park, hustle and bustle. Quite loud out there. Vehicles and honks and busy life. This is the best place to come and rejuvenate your mind when you are in Nanjing. Make sure you check it out if you come here. More flora in the area includes Chinese willow tree, bamboo plants, lotus blossom, chrysanthemum, maple trees, ginkgo trees, and osmanthus trees. The other day, my uncle was saying he hadn't even seen any cigar buds on the sidewalks. Can you see the guys sweeping the street? Look at the natural broom he is using. Street sweepers do their best to clean up these streets daily. Most of these parks here in Nanjing are free and well maintained. Pretty neat everywhere. Hmm, several birds are calling. I hear tree sparrows, red breasted flycatchers. Their lovely song penetrates a reasonable distance. 
I saw a crested mina perching. It came out from this foliage and stayed or stayed with a really hard for a while. Whether you are a history enthusiast or a nature lover, something is waiting to be discovered around every corner in Nanjing. I'm so impressed to see its profound historical significance, magnificent architectures and beautiful sceneries. See, she's practicing Tai Chi. That's an ancient Chinese form of exercise for it as a fighting art. Now we know people are coming here not only to get their workout done and to enjoy the scenery, but they are also coming here to practice Tai Chi as well. I'm winding up. Thanks for sticking along with me on this wet journey in Nanjing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below your thoughts. See you all next time. Stay well.